Dillon. Andy Moran with the layoff. Back to Dillon again. An experienced member of this male team. Jason Doherty lays it up. Jinking inside, hopping the ball nicely. Farley has gone back inside again. This Doherty, it's on the uh, ground, gives it back. Farris, Kevin McLaughlin, Danny Geraghty finally steadies the ship, and that is over the bar. Kevin McLaughlin. Leo Farris, Andy Moore, and right man, right place. Well, if we look at the replay again, the layoff from Killian O'Connor in the judgment of the referee was an illegal pass. So Andy Bourne's goal is disallowed. Two goals and six points against Galway. And again, you get the excitement when Kelly has it. They love the gooch in Kerry, but they love David Kelly in Sligo because he is their gooch. Nice ball over first, Paul McGovern. Adrian Marin is waiting for it because Marin has that right boot that registered two goals and six points against Galway, six points against New York, and this is his first in the Connacht final. There's nobody over at the far side. And that was the intention. Nice layoff by Jason Gardner. There's a chance. And again, wonderful defending by Sligo. Wonderful block down by Johnny Martin. Kevin McLaughlin. There is no doubt about it that Sligo are leading a charm life in this first half. Mayo have the potential, the creativity to break down this Sligo defence with ease. But they're not always taking their chances, unlike on this occasion. Vaughan laid it off. The finish, excellent. Breaking ball goes back for as Lee Keegan. Morn goes long to another board. Andy Morn. Castlebar Mitchells to Balahar Durain. And the Morn factor is crucial. One point between the teams. Great catch by Barry Morn. It was he that kicked it in to Andy, his captain, and the Morns get a little bit closer for their county. Passes there, the chance has arrived. Punch down, suits Kevin McLaughlin, running at the Sligo defence, lays it off sweetly to Barry Morn, and Morn shows the way. Great atmosphere now. Mark Branning passing the Mayo 45. Looks around, decides the best option. David May with the 45. Hits it well. And it's over the bar. Alan Costello. David May and Donald Vaughan. May was fouling. Free to Donald Vaughan and to Mayo. And Eamon O'Hara has been in the wars. Rory Hickey is the linesman from Ennis, from the Air Old Club. A yellow card for both of them. Kick out into the middle. This time gathered by David May, who's come to life in the second half. The referee's whistle is blown, and he said that that is a throw ball. Was this a throw? Difficult to see from that angle. Meanwhile, there's a chance here. Shoshe takes a shot off the left boot and over the bar. Good score by Aidan O'Shea. Ball is spread over towards Andy Moore. Little slip from Johnny Mark. 
reviewed, I'm sure, by the referee is accidental. Aidan O'Shea flicks the ball forward. There's a chance here. Hits it brilliantly. Is it there? Yes, it is. Andy Bourne, Aidan O'Shea, Colum Boy. Three quality footballers. The substitutions make a difference. Possession now is crucial. Aidan O'Shea, so difficult. Was that a throw ball? Sligo players protest. Doesn't matter a hoot to Lee Keegan, he's going forward. What about the finish? It's over the bar! Saw the space, survived the tackle, and hit it beautifully. Referee, is he going to give a free? No, Brainy still goes forward. Is there a free? Ball comes loose, and the referee blows the full-time whistle. It is Mayo's title. Heartbreak for Sligo, but it took a lot of passion. It is Mayo's 43rd Connacht title. Full-time score, Mayo 12 points, Sligo 10.